exciting time in immuno-oncology where we can certainly say that things are changing for our patients with cancer and that we might be looking forward to the point where cancer may be a chronic disease and that cures are possible. I'm a neuro-oncologist by training and so my focus really is in brain tumors. So what's unique about glioblastoma is yes, that the blood-brain barrier at some point does pose a challenge to many therapeutics to actually cross and get to um, the local area of disease. However, in immuno-oncology, having a systemic uh, therapy that can promote an immune response systemically can still and is being seen to have efficacy and uh, changes seen and therapeutic changes seen in the brain itself. Next generation sequencing at the point at di uh, can be very applicable at different points in the disease process both for diagnostic testing, upfront tissue, um, genetic uh, evaluations, but then therapeutically as well. For us, the, one of the biggest struggles is trying to determine who will become the responding patients versus the non-responders. And ultimately, the, the obvious goal would be put a patient on a medication that would translate to a better survival benefit for them in particular. The amount of information that we could retrieve can sometimes pose its own challenges. And so understanding from the outset what information might come about and how that can in advance guide decision making would be key. Companies can certainly work with clinicians and the uh, medication pharma to then design these trials in a systematic way that would have, um, that would allow for the results to then feed back and guide future decision making. I think that understanding that process from the get-go is where um, companies like Kyogen would know how to best predict what outcomes might um, be useful information uh, and what assays might be mo most relevant to use uh, and that's what can gathering everyone in the room and partnering together in that design would be key.